Hey coders and welcome to a brand new not just episode or playlist but full-fledged course on this channel. This new course is going to be covering the Google Cloud Platform and I'm going to be teaching its concepts conceptually via slides as well as pragmatically via live demonstrations. Now this doesn't mean that I'll stop posting videos on Google Apps Script only that I'll be including Google Cloud Platform videos within the mix of published videos. I'm, I'm supremely excited to finally be able to present this uh, course to you because it has been in the works now for a couple of months and I know how powerful Google Cloud Platform has been in my own work so I can't wait to share my knowledge with you so that you can go and utilize it yourself. This first video is just going to be an orientation to wrap our heads around uh, the cloud, what Google Cloud is, and finally why I think it could be helpful for you. So let's go. So first things first, what is the cloud? So the cloud has been a buzzword in the past decade and it's only going to become more frequent in your daily conversation. So it's good to know what the cloud even is. So in my own words, it, the cloud is a group of data centers located around the world accessible to anyone. So you can basically rent these data centers out for your own applications and you don't need any more uh, what they call on-premise servers to run your own application or website. You can basically just rent out all of this software and hardware from, uh, from cloud providers such as Google. And again, you don't need any of this yourself, which is a huge advantage. But that might lead the question of what is a data center? Well, data center is nothing more than just a huge warehouse that's full of servers and computers and all the hardware and software necessary to keep those servers and computers running. So if you're more of a visual learner, I have displayed some pictures at the bottom of the slide. If you look at the bottom left hand picture, you'll see the exterior of a data center. So as you can already tell, these things are humongous. I believe this one is a Google Cloud data center uh, located in the Netherlands but they are humongous. They have thousands upon thousands of servers and computers, and they are huge. Uh, and they take a lot of energy to run. As you can say, as you can tell uh, from the from the background, there are a lot of windmills up, and that's a common sight uh, that is associated with uh, data centers is windmills. It takes a lot of energy to keep all of these servers and all of the functionality in a data center running. Now the inside of a data center, as you can tell from the bottom middle, is just rows and rows and rows of servers and computers and a bunch of hardware. Uh, it goes beyond what the eye can see. And again, there's just thousands upon thousands of these servers and computers and everything needed to run uh, this data center. Now all of these servers heat up, right? They require a lot of energy, they're constantly running, and they get hot. So a lot of these need to be cooled down by water. And that is exactly what the bottom right-hand picture is showing. As you can see, there are lots of water pipes that help keep these servers and these computers uh, running at a good temperature uh, to prevent them from getting too hot. Now, it's cool because Google Cloud actually color codes their, uh, their water pipes. So the blue... Uh, the blue water pipes carry cold water to the machines and then the red water pipes carry that, that, that hot water back out towards, uh, towards the steamers and then that releases uh, all the water as water vapor through the big steamers. Now if you want to get a more richer understanding of what a uh, data center is, there are more pictures at the link that I have posted at the bottom of the slide www.google.com slash about slash data centers dot gallery and that will just help you get a fuller understanding of what it is so I would really recommend you check that out as well so now that we know what the cloud is what is Google Cloud well Google Cloud is just Google's own set of data centers and in Google's own words from Google Cloud Console uh, they say that Google Cloud Platform lets you build, uh, deploy, and scale applications, websites, and services on the same infrastructure as Google. And that last part is very, very important. The same infrastructure as Google. So what Google Cloud Platform is, is they will let you deploy your own applications on the same infrastructure that runs Google's products, the same ones that they use for their own products such as Google Search, Google Play, all the machine learning models such as Google Translate, 
and Cloud Vision, all of that stuff that Google uses, you now have access to on Google Cloud Platform. So that is tremendously powerful. And when you think about things such as uptime and you don't want your you don't want your application ever to crash and if there's a large amount of traffic within a short period of time, then you want your application to scale, right? So Google Cloud will let you scale to zero servers if no one is visiting your application or website or they'll let you scale to hundreds of thousands of servers if you have say millions of users using your application every single day. So how can it help you? Well, I've identified four key areas in which it could help you in your development career as well. So first things first, again, you can launch your websites and you can also scale them. So again, you can scale from zero servers all the way to hundreds of thousands of servers and Google does that all for you on their infrastructure. Secondly, you can also store uh, things. So when it comes to storage and big data, Google Cloud is basically the owner of that industry. They're the ones who uh, have all of these patents on, on ways of storing big data and you can store terabytes, even petabytes, they say unlimited amounts of data on their data, uh, on their data stores and, and you, can, you can store structured data, you can store semi-structured or unstructured data, any types of data that you need to store, you can put it up on the Google Cloud and unlimited amounts as well. You can also analyze your data. So again, Google Cloud provides a lot of pre-trained pre Google Cloud uh, machine learning models uh, for your use. So all of these machine learning models that they have trained for weeks and they have a bunch of data that they've used to train these, you now have access to, which is extremely powerful for analyzing your own data that may come in. They also provide a lot of business intelligence tools so that if you have data that you need to present to somebody, you can now present to them visually. And it just helps, again, maybe in your own understanding as well uh, to see your data uh, in, in, in a visual um, uh, diagram. Okay, finally, I have identified it being easy. So in my opinion, Google Cloud is one of the easiest to understand cloud providers. Not only do they have a very beautiful and very uh, uh, UI friendly interface for a lot of their resources that they provide, but they also manage a lot, almost all of the underlying, underlying infrastructure. So all that you'll need to do for a lot of cases is just push your code to them and they'll handle everything else. So that is extremely easy and that is why I use Google Cloud Platform for the majority of times when I need a cloud provider. All right guys, that's what I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna share for this video, uh, keep things light, but we'll be diving in deeper into Google Cloud within the next couple uh, videos. But I hope you enjoyed this one, I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the very next Google Cloud Platform video.